as you can see in the top, I have um, I've started a war. I accidentally killed some pillagers and now just the craziest situation is happening. The soldiers have taken an absolute beating and these guys just gave up. They're just like, nah, I'm happy to just chill. Look, look they're, they're not fussed. They're not fussed at all. They're just, just chilling. What is going on? I think I might just leave them here. I mean, look at this. I'm just taking him for a boat ride. And then there's some sort of deal going. This is just madness. Sheer madness. So I'm just gonna give this I'm just gonna give this pillager a little tour. So, Mr. Pillager, this is our base. If you look over there, there's a mine that Scar made. Over there, there's the portal that Scar made. Over there, there's a snail that Scar made. You know, maybe I should make a few things around here as well. Anyway, hello, my name is Green, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. You know, this is um I'd like to say that this isn't normal, but this is actually really, really normal. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna have to get rid of these guys. Oh, I'm sorry. That was mean of me. I showed you the world, and then I <laughs> and then I removed you from it. Oh wait, no, the raid's not over. Great. There's loads of like I have been steadily the reason that I have 18 deaths is because the iron golem situation here is crazy like they just keep spawning and these guys are oh, wow they're in a they're in a right state no please give us bread we need more bread basically i don't have to do anything these golems should take care of everything for me oh wow there's a there's a lot of them this time Whoa! <laughs> that was amazing <laughs> they're flying everywhere and to think i was trying to get rid of these iron golems where's the bread where's the bread me and me and the boys just waiting for the raid. Oof. You look like you've been better. Here they come. Golems, go, 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 my minions, go. No! No! Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. Oh no, they're the iron golems are losing. Oh no, where's my stuff? What the <sighs> Yo, I'm i I'll stay out of this one if I can. Where are my trousers? Oh come. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> Oh no. Uh I'm okay. My base isn't okay though. <laughs> Leave me alone. I just want my trousers back. Oh please. They okay, they at least they can't get into the villages. Alright, this is gonna be tough. But we got this. We need to get that guy there, the one with the flag. In we go. Ugh. No, 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 Get me out of here! This is a montage of me becoming a warrior. Right, you're at you're out of here. <laughs> These are the worst. Oh, they ride ravagers now. When was that a thing? And they're destroying my jungle. We're just gonna play it safe, I think. <laughs> it might take a while, but we'll get there. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, I got a better idea. Come on, fellas. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. There we go. No. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm leave. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm out here looking for lava, and what do I find? What a pesky bird! Oh, you look just like Professor Beak. <laughs> goodbye, my dudes, and goodbye the raid in the top of the screen. Wow, he's he's not going out without a fight. There we go. Raid complete. Woo! We got the achievement. Hero of the wait 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 Scar Scar gets hero of the village. Oh yeah, they're giving me they're giving me the best deals, the best deals. Thanks for the bread. <laughs> they're all throwing stuff at me. Like, thanks thanks for the bread. Thank you for the bread. Okay, well that was a bit of an odd start to the episode, but uh, let's crack on with what I actually wanted to do. I've got quite the collection of Minecraft heads going on here. And I also saw I've had a message from Mumbo, but I haven't actually had a look inside yet. Ooh, a diamond. I got good, lol. Well, is it as simple as that? Hold on. <laughs> if he can just say, I got good, lol, and that's it. I don't know. I I still don't know what that means. I, uh, I am looking forward to finding out. But I can take the 18 jungle doors from his Mordor thing. And I can say, I got doors, lol. And I'll put all the jungle doors here. I got doors. <laughs> he knows what I'm up to, so I'll just prove it. I'll, I'll just let him know that I'm still doing my job. 
Taking the doors of, the, of my fellow hermits. I wonder how long it's going to be before everyone just starts hiding their doors from me. So even though that wasn't the start that I wanted to have, it's the start that we had. And thank, that's actually worked out really well. I got loads of resources. I've got some trading with the villagers. I got hero of the village. And they cleared out all of those pesky iron golems that would not go. They have killed me 20 times now, pretty much. But what I did want to do in this episode is actually get started on the mega base. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to build the whole thing, but I was hoping we could maybe get a platform done and lay down the basic foundation and try and get the whole shape organized. So let's hop into a little time lapse and start building this thing. It's going to be absolutely mediocre for now because it's not going to be done. Let's go. I've kind of stopped the time lapse a little bit early just because I realized one or two things. One, I realized that this platform was not nearly big enough and I'm quickly running out of stone. So you can see I've got some bobbles that I've added on that means it won't fit. And secondly, I'm not actually sure I want to commit to this particular foundation layout. However, I really like where this is going. It really looks epic, especially if you're down here. You know, this manor is really going to lord it over. It's going to be enormous over this thing. And look at the size of this platform. Hopefully, just by looking at this thing, you can really get an idea for what I'm going for. And the angles are the big thing. Diagonal building. I'm really committing to some difficult details later on. And I mean, this is just the base layer at the moment. This is going to get probably way more complicated. Oh, Scar's fighting. Scar is fighting the Wither. Summon the Wither. Nice. Oh, yeah, there, there it is. Yeah, good luck, Scar. I wish you well. Some of us. Some of us aren't there yet. However, that is a really good point. I could definitely use a beacon right right about now because uh, with terraforming, you know, you want that instant mine. So for now, I think I'm going to have to leave this. Uh, maybe off camera, I'm going to fill in all of the rest of this platform, really try and nail down exactly what this foundation is going to look like because at the moment, I don't feel it's wide enough in certain places. Maybe... Oh! Scar, no! Scar, no! <laughs> is he okay? This is why you never throw away extra stone. You will need it for projects like this. I'm gonna just check. I, are you all good, Scar? <laughs> are you? <laughs> I'm going back in. Good luck, Scar. We salute you. You know what, one of the best things about being next to Scar this season is hopefully he'll be able to help me a little bit with the terraforming of this, creating some really nice, he's got very distinct style and his terraforming skills are way better than mine, so I'm hoping that he can help me. I, I, I could terraform pretty well, but Scar has this amazing ability to just put the final touches to make it seem really, really nice. I mean, Scar, that's not even the wither, mate. That's not even the wither. You, you, you're fighting the wither and you died by the zombie's hand. Okay, that's the that's the third death now by the wither. The, the sun is setting on Scar's life. He's good. He's definitely gonna lose his stuff. I'm <laughs> I'm in <laughs> chuckles. I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm coming, Scar. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. Don't worry. I'm on the case. I'm on the case, buddy. Uh, what we got? What we got? Let's get my diamond. Oh, man, this isn't going to be good. This is not going to be good. Don't worry, buddy. I'm coming. I'm in the mine. Okay, I know where he is. I'll only need my sword for this. Greeted to the rescue. I'm coming for you. He said he's an... <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Scar. Don't worry. We're coming. Here we go. Greeted to the rescue. Wow, my, my legs look so enormous. <laughs> look like... <laughs> oh, we're here. Where is he? Where is he? In the mine, in the mine, in the mine. <laughs> Where's this wither at? Where's this wither? Oh man, it's full health, dude. I got this. Don't you worry. TNT man is on the case. Oh. Woo! All right. 
You know, you know, that's cool. Do not fear. I will take care of this. For my name is the G-Man. Oh, I didn't bring a pick. I, uh, you know, G-Man doesn't, G-Man doesn't need picks. You know, G-Man's got TNT. G-Man just, G-Man goes in. TNT. <laughs> oh, no, Scott! <laughs> no, Scott! <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, no! Oh, that's definitely all my stuff. <laughs> Does he... Oh, no! I should have slept there. Does anyone else need saving? Hero services out. G-Man to the rescue! I think that went about as badly as it possibly could have gone. Oh, man. Oh man, I've probably lost all my gear. Thank goodness I got rid of everything else. Oh, we're going. Oh, coming, Scar. G-Man's coming. Don't worry. Round two. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Scar. Re respawn point set. Don't worry. I got this. I got a spare sword. I ain't scared. I'm still in danger. Yeah, buddy. I'm still in danger too. And you know, you know what else? You know what else, Scar? <laughs> my TNT didn't even damage him. Oh, I think I lost all my stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do <laughs> Oh no, I'm stuck in here. I lost my elytra. Scar, this is the worst design I've ever seen for a bed. Scar! Scar! <laughs> this is bad design for a bed. You're telling me. You are telling me. Move that out of the way. Sorry, I'm going in, Scar. Round three, here we go. Oh man, does he heal? Does the, the wither heals? Oh man, the wither heals. Uh, I, mean, I don't know if I, I don't know, I don't know if I can save us here. Uh, <laughs> oh no! I think I think G Man's superpower is losing all his stuff. I lost everything. Good job I took the only the weapons I needed, so I only lost my armor and elytra. But oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna be a rough journey. You are kidding, why is my portal up here? All right, we need emergency XP. This is the equivalent of going into my weapons vault. All right, 46 levels, smashing. Okay, I think we're gonna have to cheese this from a distance using a bow. Don't know how well this is gonna go. Fast enchantments, not too bad. We have to cheese this the old fashioned way. <laughs> I don't know why I thought any of this was gonna work. Okay, this time, G-Man doesn't fight with his sword. G-Man fights with his brain but also his sword. Scar, he's kitted out. We got another hero. Come on. Come on, Scar. Go, 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 go. This time, we fight him using a superpower. Two brain cells. <laughs> he has one brain cell. All right. We take this the smart way this time. And please, I don't want to lose my silk scribe. <laughs> Respawn, set. Scar, you're literally the worst. You are my only hope. <laughs> okay. Yeah, G-Man's not scared. Yeah, I'm not scared. Scar, I need torches. My only weakness. Darkness. <laughs> the plan is to cheese. Boom! Out of the way. Dip in. We shoot. We go back. We dip in. We shoot. We go back. We dip in. We shoot. And we go back. No, Scar, no! No, that's not how you do! Scar, no! Uh-oh. Oh, what? What? No! No! Come on, Scar! We can do this! Out! Out of here! I got this! I got it! I got it! I got it! Yes! What? We did it! G-Man got you! Yeah? What? Who else needs saving? I lost everything! <laughs> Scar! He still died! Oh, look! The cavalry's here! <laughs> oh! Oh, thanks for- thanks for showing up when you did, Tango! <laughs> I've- I figured out what my superpower is. What? Losing all my stuff. I lost my elytra. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my elytra. Did you get the star by chance? I did. I got it. I got it. Oh, I thank. <laughs> thank the hermits in the skies. Oh my gosh. For some reason, I thought I could I could come in here. I, I'm so sorry. I thought I could come in here, blow the wither up, and that would be it. Little did I know, the wither ignites the TNT. Um, my bad. You know, I was standing there and I was thinking you were you were in cahoots for a moment with the wither. I assume you were using this for a uh, 
a biggity beacon. Yes. Yes, I, 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 I think that's what I was here for. I Honestly, I was hitting the head so many times, I'm a little bit dazed. I am sorry about the bed incident. I, uh, that was a poor placement on my part. <laughs> that was a very, yeah, it turns out you need, you need two brain cells to kill the wither, not, not one. And, uh, <laughs> that bed placement was one brain cell placement. <laughs> well, we combined, we combined the power of the g-man <laughs> yeah you know and the one we... brain cell together you know what we did too we... it was three brain cells and that's what did it that's why we won <laughs> so we literally just finished fighting that wither and scar has kindly offered me in a message he said that he is willing to give me one of his spare elytra apparently he's got quite a few and i'm i'm actually going to take him up on that because there's no way i'm going to the end and doing that all over again uh, <laughs> so yeah i did kind of come and help scar out so I i'm going to take him up on that elytra offer Ah, uh, thank you, dude. Thank you. I, <laughs> I know I helped you out there, but I really didn't want to lose my elytra. I'm so sorry about the elytra. I, I'm sorry for blowing you up. <laughs> I'm still withered. If you don't notice, I'm still emitting particles. Are you? I think it's affected your one brain cell, dude. I didn't see anything. <laughs> 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 all right so like i said thank you so much for helping me oh hold on that was anticlimactic. all right i'm gonna put it up here like it's this great trade-off look at that uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it gives you more breathing ability underwater it's magic uh, you don't want to give me the you don't want to give me the nether star instead i could really use a beacon <laughs> um <laughs> you know what we could we, we could share how about I, we, we we share we are, we share we are this... genuinely close enough to be able to share a beacon that would be yes. oh wow look at it look at it glow that was harder and that was what are you gonna make with it Oof. anyway oh my gosh dude i've been trying to make a creeper farm for a week <laughs> oh i was gonna say please say rockets please say rockets okay i've got a sugarcane farm if if you want to go halves these i will help you make the creeper farm and then we can have rockets for days oh rockets for days so yeah well um i've, I've been collecting stuff for the beacon so i've got uh, like almost, yeah, I actually have two stacks of iron, so we just need a little bit more and maybe we could wow. combine the gold uh, and yeah, we'll be good. Yeah, 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 we'll make an ugly beacon and yeah, you know what, let's just make it now. I'm, I'm up for it. Okay, so let's, uh, <laughs> we got our elytra back, thank goodness. And actually, this sounds like a fantastic plan. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to work with Scar and we're going to, between the two of us, hopefully get enough rockets you know, I've got the sugar cane. He's he's got plans for a, a creeper farm. If we help each other out, scratch each other's back, we could have we could have so many rockets and probably even make our first shop. That would be awesome. All right, let's let's get on and make this. I don't know what his plans are, but I, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Let's uh let's time lapse this and get it going. Wow, what a project. That was a seriously long night that Scar and I spent building this thing. Hours and hours, and it is, I am very, very happy to say, working. It's not particularly handsome at the moment. It is just a hole in the ground. But you know, between Scar and I, we, you know, we know how to build. We could make this look really, really nice uh, sometime in the future. I think we're pretty sick of it, to be honest, at the moment. But now is a really good time to top up on my gunpowder because I'm actually running pretty low on rockets. So we've done a kill the chamber made of magma blocks. Not the most efficient, but we wanted to keep this whole thing underground. And look at that. It is already producing a really decent amount of gunpowder. That is excellent. This should keep me topped up for a very long time. And since we finished that, I have actually been finalizing some of the foundation levels of my base. And I am also very pleased to say, it's done. It is, well, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure it's done. There's probably going to be some little details that get added on the side. But on the whole, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. But I, I noticed something, and the second that I noticed it, I can't unnotice it. It looks like a space invader. Like, 
an actual space invader. <laughs> Look, all I gotta do is add a couple of eyes and check it out. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe the, the space invaders look a little less derpy than that. Oh man. But you could kind of see it. It is meant to be a foundation level for a house, but it definitely looks like some sort of cute machine at the moment. So I'm going to continue working on this, trying to get every element of this just right. And I think that is going to be it for today's episode. It has been extremely, extremely busy. We've done quite a lot. We've got the creeper farm going and we've started our main base. But most importantly, we saved Scar from impending doom. So I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.